You know, these four are all quiet right now. Someone should be taping the discussions in the break and putting them on YouTube because they've been fabulous, censor right? Censor a little bit first. Don't censor. No, we don't like a post and un filtered and scripted and all that stuff we do here. Okay, so let's talk about bath time. We gotta talk about nudity, okay? Some of us may have kids that love to run around naked after shower or bath time. And the question then becomes, when do you start cracking down on that? When does that become inappropriate? And if you're a parent, when do you need to be a little more discreet when it comes to taking you know, showers and stuff in front of your kids? What do you guys think? Well, when, when my son or when any of my kids started to notice parts that were different or why theirs were different. It's like, okay, you're not bathing with us anymore. That's, no. Why is yours? No, okay, that's enough. Get out. You're so what done. about what age do you think that was? It was about three, mm -hmm. two or three, wow. something like that's, that. That's young. I'm a yeah. bad parent. I'd be interested in hearing what Dr. Pete says on, mm -hmm. on the psychology of whether it's same sex or, you know, different sex uh, or different gender kids. Because for me, I think if it's different gender, gender, you need to set an age, but if it's same, I think we should demystify what happens to your body as you grow up, yeah. and as long as you're comfortable. Now, teaching the knock on the door, that's a matter of respect, right. and that's a manner. And we'll ask Dr. Pete, but then there's my daughter, you know, sitting, at, we're at a bathroom stall at a ballpark or something. Mommy, what's all that down there? So it's trying to teach <laughs> yeah. you how oh, to gosh. be discreet about it. I, I, I tell you, the tales I have. But Dr. Pete, what do you think about this? It's, it's, you know, you, we're, we're kind of sending mixed messages to kids a lot of times because we're imparting our values in terms of, you know, privacy and that, but at the same time we're doing this at an age where they're going to the pediatrician a lot, they're having to expose themselves a lot, they're potty training, they're walking in on us, you know, so I think that we sort of have to blend those two things. And a lot of times, you know, the age of three, four, five are kind of tossed out there. Well, that tends to be when a child has successfully potty trained, where they really are starting to understand privacy issues, understanding the need to respect others' privacy as well. And so we, sit, we can start to set some of those limits. Now, some of this really is individual to parents because you're gonna have six, seven-year-olds where it's really okay, it's nothing wrong with it if, if parents are allowing some of that, if that's their family value. And then and other parents may be more modest and want to set that limit a little bit earlier. But you do want to sort of be aware of the mixed message that we sometimes are sending, particularly toddlers. That is so interesting. I never looked at it like that. I got some good advice from our pediatrician who's hung the moon. He's wonderful. And he told me, you know, really just take your cues from your kids on when they're uncomfortable being naked around you or around their sibling. Um, and so we'll see when that happens. I'm not quite sure it's even happening. happening. You know, yes. it's really interesting you say that because my daughter, Brynn, who's six, there was a moment that I can specifically remember where she became very uncomfortable. She didn't want, we call them, we call them bubbies. Mm -hmm. She didn't want people looking at her bubbies and she'd cover up. I think it was probably about five and a half. And so that was about the time I told my husband, you know, you might need to close the door mm -hmm. for some privacy when you're taking a shower because she's starting to take notice of these things, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, what other experiences have you guys had? What? Well, I'm Sorry. breastfeeding currently and have been for the past year. And so this is the first child where I have another one old enough to sort of oh, yeah. recognize, like, what are these parts? You know, and I'm not going to be covering up in the house while I'm breastfeeding, you know. And I think also that that does a service to my son to show him that these are not purely sexual, that there's, there's a purpose for these. And there's <laughs> there's <laughs> a, you know, I don't even know what yeah. Well, you know, I want him to grow Can up you invite Peter over so right. he'll learn that too? Yeah. Don't put that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have a lot of questions for me about you know, them. If you have little boys, and, and you guys don't know this, but you have little boys, little boys up, up until a certain age, they they go to a urinal, they drop trowel completely. So they're just butt naked <laughs> just at, the tr yeah, at the urinal. <laughs> to their ankles. And, yeah, and you know, you're, you're there, and, and we know because we're the dads, and you're like, oh, dude, no, because there's other guys. In. <laughs> so you have to, you stand in front of them, oh, and the guy, other guys <laughs> come in like, say, bro, what's going on? You're blocking your son. It's like, dude, awesome. when are you going to learn just to flip the front part down? That's all. <laughs> but doesn't that go to taking the cues, though? Because I know with, you, you try and force the potty training and stuff on your kiddos, and I know for both of mine what worked, because we try, it wasn't until they were ready that when it happened. Ready. And then it just... Now, then it's easy at that point mm -hmm. almost. Well, I mean, he knows how to aim it. He just, you know, has no shame in showing his butt to the world. That's all. I'm just like taking his shoes off. Oh. <laughs> no, he just he drops right there and standing there. Oh. But they've got to understand boundaries, right? And it's why they've got to learn to knock on doors before they come in. I remember the first time we had to sort of learn to lock that bedroom doors to make sure we had some 
private time. Right. And well, isn't that the best time to get your kids' attention is when you just go to the bathroom and then all of a sudden, hey, mom, i got to tell you about this and this. And that's, that's the best, that's the well, best you know, time to get them running, too. You also yeah. have to be really careful, too, I mean, and teach them to be safe and that their stuff is their stuff. And right. not yeah. that, because especially if you go to the, I never let my little ones go to the public restroom ever without me, ever. Because, I mean, the, the target that I, I shop at is one where there was an assault in the oh, restroom. Goodness. So, you know, and my son, he's at that vulnerable age. He doesn't know any better, so that's why you have to be protective. Because you never, you never know who's walking in right. there and who, what they're capable of. Those mixed messages Dr. Yeah. Pete was talking about, we got to be aware of those. All right, up next on the broadcast buzz on Parenting Special, getting through the oh-so-rough teen years. So many issues. I'm scared. I want to cry every time I think about it. Um, come on back. Don't forget we have a new show coming up soon in August. We'll talk more about that in a bit.